Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get this look. It is not the hair. Don't look at the hair. I can't show you how to do that. That's natural. Sorry. Look at the face. Do you like it? Because I'm about to show you how to do it. If you guys want to know how to do the best headshot makeup ever, then keep on watching. So first of all, I'm wearing the same shirt, but not the same hair as my business headshot. I just, I just don't see the point in straightening and damaging my hair a second time this summer. Yeah, I just don't see the point. Oh, also don't mind like this dot, this dot, this dot. I have so many dots on my face, not from zits, but from mosquitoes deciding that they want it, they want a piece of me. The funny thing about my um, headshot makeup was that I decided to do a lot of things that I, like in general, that I don't do. I've literally never used a sponge in the year 2020. Do you like how this actually matches my skin? Like my, my body? I haven't used a sponge in a moment. Like a moment. And I decided the day that I was going to get a professional photo shoot that I should. Was it a stupid idea? I, it was just a very risky idea, but you know, I'm like a businesswoman. I'm all about risks. Make sure that your foundation not only hides your acne. <gasps> I didn't call it correct. What the fuck is wrong with me? Just, uh, I'm so mad at myself. Whatever, I wouldn't call it correct on top, which is not what I did. But you know, live, laugh, love. Why is the green so motherfucking pigmented? Like, there's no reason for pigmentation to pop out this bad or this much. Like, this is not bad. But I have pretty freaking red zip and still. Like... Alright, and that's it. That's all you do for your business headshot. Bye, guys. What if I genuinely thought I looked good right now? Because I forgot. To do color correcting like a doom ass i'm going to just do more of a yellow so it can go on top you see this in line i'm just gonna turn it that way turn it that way and then drag it down and then i'm going to go in with translucent powder so i love this brush because i can do foundation on this side and then on this one, like whoever thought of that. Engineering gene, yes. Do the little creases. Smooth them out before you put powder all over them because let me tell you, it becomes very, very hard to fix mistakes once powder is on. Or at least creamy mistakes once powder is on. It's a setting powder. This shit is supposed to set. And if it's a setting, if, if it's setting a mistake, it doesn't get a heck. Okay, and then I started doing this and I don't know if it looks good in real life, but I don't give a fuck because this is for a headshot and it looked great for my headshot. So you're just gonna take it right here and you're gonna go all the way to your lips. <laughs> all right, and then you're gonna look like Trixie Mattel. And then if you're feeling frisky, Put some at the sides of your nose, so like this. And it just makes it look a little bit smaller, just the tiniest, tiniest bit. So after you look like Trixie Mattel, you're going to immediately brush it. Unlike her, where she keeps it on, which gives her a flawless drag look. You're getting a business headshot. You're not supposed to look like a drag star. So it just looks like this. It's like you barely can see it. We're gonna take my favorite bronzer and you're gonna take my favorite bronzer too because it's my favorite bronzer and everyone needs it. Go exactly where that, I don't know why this side's acting like a dumb bitch, but it is and I'm not here for it. This is where I used a blush, like a darker brush, a little bit bleh. 
I use a darker brush. Why can I not say that? I use a darker blush than I typically do during the day. Cameras and headshots kind of wash you out. So don't put too much, but just like more than you're typically doing just because like it just washes out. Why do my teeth look so light? Like I'm not mad about it, but I have a great flawless base. And that's probably the biggest part about a headshot that people are concerned about just because it is something that you have to really think about. Then what I did was I took this gorgeous pale pink shimmery eyeshadow and just washed this all over my eyelid. So I have green eyes and this is kind of a neutral pink so I think it just helps them pop but without being like, hey guys, I'm wearing pink eyeshadow. You know what I'm saying? Again, you see it in my thumbnail, but I'll insert a picture. Like you can't tell that I'm wearing pink eyeshadow, but it just does something. It's a difference. A headshot is not worth purchasing any new makeup unless it's base makeup. I think that base makeup matters a lot more just to make yourself look a little bit more presentable. And even with men, like you can do something along the lines of this where it's like you just want foundation on so you look your best self. I'm sorry, I shall show this again. I'm gonna take this color right here. Right here. I'm just going to just make the tiniest bit of a difference, just literally the world's tiniest. I I would say don't do anything extravagant with your eye makeup when you're taking a headshot because it is something that should accentuate, like your headshot makeup should accentuate, sorry, I'm not wearing earrings and I just found these on the table so I'm gonna wear them. Your headshot makeup should accentuate you, not be, unless you're going into the art world and you're trying to be a makeup artist and for some reason like MAC needs a headshot of you. I wouldn't do anything extravagant. I wouldn't put much work into your eyes because they might be distracting. Like I'm not even gonna do a wing and I love wings, but I smile and my wing, when I smile, my wings always go away. So I'm not gonna put the effort into drawing a wing if you can't even see the wing. I'm gonna take a brown liner and put it in the corner right here. I guarantee you guys can't see a single difference in what I just did. Try and get as close to your lashes as possible. And then obviously you're going to put mascara, some mascara. I don't want them to look like very doll-like, even though this look is very cute with the bottom lashes. When you smile, it just looks very like tear, teary-eyed. So I don't want that. I don't want to look like a kid for a headshot. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to look like a kid. Oh, I also got this at Elf, by the way. I'm gonna do another layer just because I went a little too crazy with the combing. And then for lips, when I smile, these disappear and then this kind of gets smaller. And so I'm going to heavily overline. And when I say heavily, I don't mean like crazy. Oh, so I have this natural indent right here. I'm going to overline until here, literally right there. Looks crazy. When I go down, it doesn't look crazy. But does it look crazy now? It just looks like a lip. If you're wanting to know what this is, it is Mauve by NYX. And it's their, just their regular lip pencil, not a retractable one or anything. Kind of gonna do the same thing on this side, but if I did it with a natural indent, it would go all the way to here. So I'm just gonna do like one width of this. So outlining my lip. When you smile, you can't tell. I have so many of these NYX lip pencils, it's ridiculous. So I'm just gonna take Ever, which is just like the slightest bit darker, and really outline. And look how pouty my lips look. And then you're going to take a slightly paler lip color and put it in the center. Again, this is a headshot, so using three lip products is not unreasonable because you're going to a headshot. Like, if, if this was like a date night look, I would understand, like, using three lip products is just not smart. 
<laughs> it's just not. But when it comes to a headshot, you want to look your best. You want to look as presentable as you possibly can. So anyways, I would definitely take those out because hello you're getting a headshot like you are an adult even though those are so freaking trendy and cute like you're supposed to look like an adult and i kind of wish i had my hair like this in my headshot i think it's so cute but i kind of did like a fake blowout when they're doing a headshot at least with me he helped me a lot with poses and stuff but if they don't help you then i'll just tell you what poses you could do there's one i think he called it the turtle where you stick your neck out and you look down and you or you do a half smile and I don't think that they did like any straight pictures like I never went like because like look how dead I look it looks super fashionable and chic online when you're going like, but you're not doing that in a headshot figure out your smile try and figure out how you like it smiles are unique smiles are beautiful on everyone and anyone there was smizing but i think i think he figured out that i'm not good at smizing but like i always smile so that's just how i did it so that's pretty much all you have to do for a headshot obviously you can do whatever you want with the eyes it's not a tutorial for the eyes it's more a tutorial for the base so you look so good like when i'm taking a headshot i'm gonna look my best self like that's how that's what a headshot is supposed to be it's not supposed to be oh this is how they look when they're sitting at home watching tv it's supposed to be something that says hire me <laughs> because i'm the best all right, so that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, please let me know down below and give me a big like and subscribe. Did you do it? Did you do it? Don't be shy. Don't be fucking shy. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.